Welcome back to the gym. Today I'm bringing an exclusive workout with Justin Lee, a real natural that gives great information while also being insanely strong, which you will clearly witness today. So I recommend you all subscribe to him after watching this video, and of course, be sure to check out his segment, which is vlog style. Anyway, we're gonna do heavy deadlifts, heavy loss and press, and a complete back session. So I hope you enjoy and try it out, of course. So here's 495 for an easy triple. As you guys know, I haven't been doing many deadlifts on the floor. Most of my training has been good mornings. So I figured that today would be the perfect opportunity to finally test the carryover. And with Justin around, trust me, you want to lift heavy because he's going to go for 700 pounds. So that's 635 right here for him. And he's just going to ramp it one more time after that. For me, this is 585, which is already a lifetime PR. But it's not going to stop there because look at that. It moves fast, which was actually surprising because I honestly thought it was going to be a lot grindier. And Justin was like, yo, you got 600. Go for it, man. So after seeing what he's about to do right now, it's going down. So check this out. 700 pounds, which is the heaviest I've ever seen in real life. Up, up. Nice, man. Good hold, too. Yeah. Now here's my clean 600, AKA the goal for the entire year. All right, that's it for deadlifts. Now we move on to the Larson press, which was not planned for today, but we're both in a great mood and feeling energetic. So you know we have to get a nice PR, and especially since Justin just hit a 405 raw bench. And I know what that takes. It ain't easy. He's been working hard. And so why not find out what zero leg drive can do? It's not only good as a self-limiting variation, but from a stimulation standpoint, you're getting all the benefits deeper range of motion, more pecs out of the bottom, you can't go wrong. Therefore, when fatigue is really high, not to mention the fact that we pulled heavy beforehand, this is the perfect exercise to do. Now, of course, we are doing singles, but that's because we just had to. It's a lifter's thing, and we don't do this often, so why not today with two serious guys? So here's 340. I don't think I've done this before. I did 335, but with the chains, I can obviously do more. Justin crushes it of course what we learned is that the unrack for me is off but for him it's good and then I end off with 355 which oh, yeah. is literally the heaviest i've ever gone on a loss of press so very very happy with that finally justin gets 365. think about how insane that is clean pause no grind that's the strength of a four or five bencher Anyway, then we hit some volume back downs with 275, which I regularly hit in my workout videos. Now my rep PR is 11 repetitions and here I got 10. So very pleased considering this is done way after other stuff and it's not even the end of the volume presses. Of course, I'm not gonna show you every single set of us. We're gonna be here all day. Just showing you some main highlights, the best clips overall good volume for the pecs delts and tries here's justin's set he crushes it as well and what's cool is that he has longer arms look at the bend in the bottom the elbow angle isn't at parallel or slightly above even though he's using a wider grip so he's someone who excels at the deadlift of course but his bench is also super elite and that's what i like to see a balanced upper and lower body anyway now we're gonna hit the bodybuilding portion of this workout. Super wide grip pull-ups to start things off. This will demolish your upper back. It's actually less lat bias. You can see the arm path. It's primarily going to tax the teres major, rhomboids, and traps. And whatever you normally lift for rep work, cut it back by at least 40 to 50% because it's not an easy way of pulling. Like you can't really see from this angle, but my arms, are literally in a V formation. It's the worst leverages you can possibly imagine. And getting a very high range of motion, 
is almost impossible. Like doing sternum style with an insanely wide grip, you have to be a freak of nature to pull that off. But those who can have crazy backs. And I believe that Franco Colombo was a proponent of this movement. So yeah, we just did a plate. It's all you need. Justin was actually strong. And look, calisthenics, muscle ups. I've seen him talk about how he mostly does lap pull downs and machines, but look at the gains. This is very impressive stuff, considering his limb lengths and that he doesn't really train these movements. Here's my set. I was uh, fatigued as well. What's cool is that this is kind of a full body segment in the sense that the back is getting smashed, but when you do these muscle ups, so does the chest and triceps get some simulation. So I feel like we did get a good enough volume, especially considering this was the end of the week. So it's not like we didn't do training the days prior, but that doesn't matter. When the vibes are good and you're with a serious lifter, the mindset kicks in. And here I'm showing Justin some front pulls, which hits the lats even further. I just think this was a core exercise. And although it is true that your abs and hip flexors get some stimulation through the isometric contraction, what you're really doing is a body weight pullover using your legs as a longer lever. And I think this might've been Justin's first time, but hey, look, he's not bad at all. Legs could be a little bit straighter, but come on, this is good work right here. And you're gonna see how wide his back is in the end. Anyway, this is the single arm pull down to bias the iliac division of the lats, AKA known as the lower lats. We don't bring the hands even with our head and we keep the upper arm in a neutral angle and get a nice squeeze right there while including some degree of spinal flexion. You don't wanna have an arch back when doing these. Now, obviously, it would be even better if we were less twisted and said could be centered with something like chest support. This way we can go heavier, but this gets the job done, especially since we're fatigued and didn't seem to be limited by stability. So here I'm just showing Justin the correct arm motion. He nails it pretty quickly. Look at that musculature. So overall, we're just refining the back. Pull-ups to build your thickness. This to get you a little bit wider. This way, there's nothing that can possibly lag. So let's all leave our biases aside. Powerlifters, bodybuilders, and calisthenics athletes can all learn from each other. And that's what we're doing here. It makes sense. And for the final back exercise, we bring you the seated chest supported row. This is perfect after a heavy deadlift session because your spinal erectors are quite literally fried. And what's cool with this machine is that the strength curve is different. It actually biases the length and position, AKA getting a weighted stretch. And depending how you position your arm angle, you can bias different divisions of the lats. So Justin has a mostly neutral humerus and he includes some degree of spinal flexion. So I would actually call this a thoracic row, the way he's doing it, but he's also pulling past the body. So he is getting some activation of the upper back as well. Regardless, it's a nice hybrid lift. And I like the execution right here. For me, it's more rear delt bias. You can see the arm angle is at 45 degrees. So that's what I felt. And it's quite honestly the most comfortable way of rowing because I kind of bench with a similar arm path considering I use a closer grip. For me, it's all about replicating the opposite movement pattern. But of course, the upper back still gets smoked and I always get a maximum range of motion. You stretch out at the bottom and try to get a deep contraction at the top. And if you have to do half reps, then you can stop the set right there or do cheat drop sets, but I tend not to do that in this day and age. And then here's Justin's final set. Look at that clean form, nice squeeze on the back. I see those low bar marks, pump was unreal. Look at that lat spread, particularly from the rear. Justin is a wide dude. Finally, it's time to isolate the arms with simple dumbbell curls. We actually did multiple sets, so we were extremely exhausted. And this is the final one where our form does start to break down at the end. We're just making all kinds of stupid faces and talking smack. So it was really fun and it's always great to get your pump on. So don't be a minimalist, do your curls. Of course, you can go to failure. It's not gonna be too hard on your recovery. And of course, push for progression like any other movement. If your biceps are struggling to grow, well, Maybe you gotta up that intensity a little bit. But overall, this was a phenomenal workout. Justin and I pushed each other very hard and we got some solid numbers in and a real session that's gonna give us gains. So we're both sore and looking forward to the next workout video.
And with that said, check out some flexing footage. I think we both got some comparable natty physiques. Like this is what it is, guys. We're gonna have a post-workout meal. What's up, guys? What's up? Yeah. So, bringing you guys an authentic experience. Just gonna stuff our faces, and that's it. We're yeah. just very hungry right now. Anyway, that was an awesome workout. Guys, be sure to check out Justin Lee's channel. He's a real natural that's showing you what's possible. Extremely strong, and what's cool is that he makes shorts, they're actually informative. And I think we need more of that in the online fitness community. So keep doing your thing, keep helping people out, and making those gains, because it really shows, man. Like, it's rare to find someone from my area that can put up the numbers that you displayed today. So I was truly impressed, and let's just keep grinding, man. Sure. So first of all, I'll say thank you, Alex, for having me on the channel. This has been super awesome. I've been super impressed by Alex, too. Hitting like a 40 pound, pound PR, not even like training for it on his bodybuilding block. So, of course, Alex is the OG. I've been watching him since I was in university, so I'm super happy to have this opportunity to be on the show. And likewise, I um, hope massive success for him. Definitely do their collab, actually. And uh, yeah, big things ahead for both of us. 100%. Alright, guys, we'll see you in the next workout video.